Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, I already know what the title of this video is going to be. It's going to be called, uh, You Can Dragons Be 10 Too. So, I think the concept is really simple. I'm going to actually, since I have a few Dragon Sigils, I think I only have four, but I can do two runs with it. And I'm going to show you guys how you guys can Dragon Speed B10 as well. Um, with, I think, monsters that most people have. Now, there might be people that don't have these monsters, and if you don't, then... There's, there's replacements, like you really don't need specific monsters. What you need is you need some really, really hard hitting dark nukers. And that's all you need. Alright, that's all you need for this video. All you need is just as much, um, as much dark hitting nukers as you can. So you don't, for me, I'm going to be using my Dark Sea Star, Tito, and my two Dark Monas. You don't necessarily have to use these units. There are a lot of replacements like, uh, Actually, no, there, there are no, like, easier to obtain replacements, but if you happen to have, like, Dark Moonflower or anything like that, then you can use that as well. Anyways, um, we're just gonna do this, alright? No bullshit. Wait, is this Exotic Astral? All region Exotic Astralmon race increase. Alright, right after this video, I'm going, I'm going, I'm gonna start farming really damn hard. Um, okay, so I only have four sigils. Better not fuck this up, because I <laughs> can't do a retake. All right, I cannot do a retake. I only have four sigils, but we're going to go in and we're going to we're going to make this work. This is right, right? All right, I'll show you guys all the gems afterwards. Um and Yeah, I, I did this last week. I tested this out last week. It actually worked pretty well. Now I need to turn off the auto. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm gonna nuke this guy. Alright, I think this should be enough damage. Okay, now, the Light Persephone here is going to attack. If she ki kill hits any one of these, they're dead. But that's perfectly fine. Because if that happens and the B happens to crit on your Dark Nuker, then that's just one more refill. But it doesn't matter. This is like the beginner's version of Dragon's B10, alright? This is how you do it. How you do Dragon's B10. Don't farm any of the lower floors. Just go straight into B10 and just refill because it's it's the best way to do it. It is. It is. Trust me. Trust me. You get guaranteed 6 star gems. All you need is a bunch of Dark Nukers. Now this run was actually really unfortunate because my Dark Atito happened to have died to the B because the B crit. Now, that's actually perfectly fine. It's still alright. It all depends on the RNG of the second wave. Now we're gonna, we're gonna use these two. Okay, that was a little bit unfortunate, but it's still fine. I was able to kill one. Now there's only three alive. Now the be best case scenario is they they split their damage and and uh they they don't finish off my guys. Now I don't think they can kill my dark sea star, which is actually pretty good. So what I'm going to do is um I think since this cult does more damage, I'm going to I'm going to kill her and this way I get a full bar. Now, this is really simple. You just go in I did one free refill, alright? Are you counting? I did one refill. Now, you should be able to do this within three refills. Like, at most three refills, alright? At the very, very most, it's three, three refills. And you, with three refills, you get a guaranteed six star gem. Um, you might think that it's not worth it. But let me tell you, it actually is. Okay, that was all right. This this was two refills. Now I think this run actually had really really bad RNG. He's going to kill me with this AOE, but I should be able to kill him for sure next turn. Ooh shit! Wait 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 wait. I think this might be really really bad if I don't crit. Oh shit, the damage was just short a little bit. Alright, um... I can't really say anything, like, it, it was just really bad that the, the the C star, like, it didn't crit on the C star, and then the C star survived, so I had to do, like, one extra refill. But, I mean, four refills isn't that bad, right? Anyone can, 
anyone can put this team together. You don't need like really really good gems either. You just need like a bunch of attack gems. And I get a free gem of leech um, HP with defense and crit rate. For all the refills, I think this was worth. All right, my, my, I think my alarm clock just rang. Um. Anyways, I I'm gonna do this again, um, and hopefully I get better RNG this time. So you you guys believe me. If you guys don't believe me, then well, fuck you guys too. All right, fuck you guys too. I'm, I'm doing this for everyone. I just like I just want them to want everyone to know that you can do this too. If you really want, if you really want that sick gem of leech that I got just now, just just do it. Just gem up all your dark monsters. You can do this. All right, let's see if I get some better luck this time. All right, all right, all right. This is this is some good good luck. Now, why is this good luck? She can kill one of my units next turn. It doesn't matter who. But I will kill her now, I think. Oh shit, wait, I don't kill her. Mm. Well, I think this will kill her. Should be fine. Alright, that's one refill to get past the Persephone. It's not it's not too bad. And my C Star gets, can use her uh her AoE. She's gonna die next turn, but I think with the the units having d being damaged, um, if they if both my, both my Monas crit on on one of them, and then my Gatito crits on one, it should be able to kill one for sure. Like this should be a hundred percent kill. I'll, I'll try with these two first. Okay, yeah, that that was a hundred percent kill. Okay, so if you want your teams to be re be reliable, gem with a hundred percent crit. Now that was really unfortunate because he, I think he crit or something. If, if he didn't crit, I think my Gatito would have lived. Um, but it's fine. It's still completely fine. We're just going to put all our damage on this Colt. I'm going to kill him. Now if you're super unlucky, I think it's four refills. But if you're, if you're somewhat lucky, um, like you can actually get lucky enough to do this in one refill. If your if your luck is that good. All right, I even kill the thing on the side. That's actually pretty good. Now I hit my C star, which is which is perfect. All right, let's just hope it does enough attack or enough damage to make him use the AOE. Ugh, I was I was a little bit short. That was really unfortunate. My, if my Gatito was alive. It would have been one less refill. Now that was that was actually just really really bad luck, but we're just gonna put as much damage as we can on the dragon, and this should be enough health. He's gonna use his AOE. It should be enough health to kill him, um, to just straight out kill him. Like when I when I refill again next turn. Now this is really good that my C star survived, because um, it can do its nuke, one more turn. If I wanted the perfect comp, I think a more perfect comp would be to use another dark attacker. There's one. There's less chance of it. Um, you know, of, of it fucking up and me having to to use a refill. So that was that was a uh, that was two refills, right? Yes, that was two refills. And you get the sweet attack crit defense crit rate gem, you know, for two refills. So I just wanted to show you guys that like you literally anyone can do Dragon Speed Ten. You don't need like really. Um, really specific monsters, just some dark nukers and refilling and you should be able to do it. Now I think the second part of this video I want to kind of explain why you would farm Dragon's B10 um, but before that I'll just show off my gems really quick because somebody, somebody is bound to ask. So this is my Dark Sea Star gem. Um, it is just like this. It's not very very good. Crit rate, intuition set. This is on a broken set. Um, just triple attack with with as much crit rate as I can find. It's not really good because my Mona doesn't have a square slot. Same with this Mona, just triple attack, as much attack as possible. Um, you know, also no square slot, kind of kind of unfortunate. If you had, have like two square slot Monas, if you have like three square slot Monas, you can just run them and then try to push like 100% crit. 
and you should be able to do it within two refills like every single time um, now my my Katito is on a attack attack uh, attack crit damage crit rate and his crit rate is at 85% so it's pretty high it's not perfect but it's pretty good paired with my dark sea star he does have a hundred percent crit rate so I mean that's pretty good so yeah that's pretty much it uh, that is pretty much everything it uh, that's that's all there is to it and um, And and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why you should farm you should farm a uh, dragon's B10 versus any other dungeon, because B10 has a guarantee. Like I, I I'm gonna explain why it's worth it to farm B10. If you think of it like this, if you think of it as you, pretty much um, you're guaranteed to get a six star gem. Even though even if the six star gem isn't good, you have a chance to get like one of the dragon sets, and or you get a six star gem that it's that's gonna be usable. You know. Um, I was pretty lucky with the two runs, so I got some, I got some decent six stars. But there, there is, you know, there's definitely the chance that you don't get that lucky and you, you get like a flat six star gem or, or anything like that. But I think the chance itself is definitely worth it because um, it's a really fast way to progress. And I think in this game, time is definitely just like time is money, basically. Uh, worrying too much about efficiency is not all that important because. Astro Gem is infinitely farmable in this game, so in order for you to catch up in progression um, or you want better gems than other people, I think a really really good way um, to for you to get ahead of the game is to actually be farming Dragon's B10 versus any other dungeon um, in the game. Well, that exotic rate up is insane. I hope they have this for the next few days, and I'm going to be farming hard. All right, just uh, ten more candlings. If I don't get ten more within the next four days, no, no candle for me. Or no, not no candle. No, uh, no evil two tiger for me. So yeah, if you like, uh, if you think of it like this, um, if you're constantly playing the game, farming gold golems, farming astro gems, and you're working on your gem progression. Um, a really good way to catch up on gem progression is actually to be farming Dragon's B10 because you're always guaranteed to get the 6 R gem even if you have to do like 4 refills you're not gonna have to always do 4 refills if you have to always do 4 refills it, it might not be worth it um, but if you can do it like within like 1 to 3 refills or, or even 1 to 4 refills then um, then it's pretty good now a lot of you, you saw like um, during the first run, the re one of the reasons why I had to do four refills was mainly because my Dark Mona wasn't on crit, doesn't have enough crit rate. So one of them actually didn't crit on the dragon. If it did actually crit, it would have finished the dragon off, and I would have been able to like do it within within three runs or three refills. So that's that's also something to to consider. Um, the better your gems are, the more likely it is to 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 succeed. I think dragons is all part of a big RNG game. You want to cover as many bases as possible, and um, if you have every single base covered, then you have the like the most perfect dragons B10 team. Um, I'm not sure if like it's possible to be to have like a real like actual you know never fail always zero refill team. Like maybe sometimes RNG can be really really bad. Um, your debuffs just don't land at all, and then they they crit or something like that. Um, but then you want to eliminate at that like as much as possible, so you can rely on CC, you can rely on debuffs. You also need enough damage to to like you know finish off whatever you need to finish. This way, you don't have to worry about them actually attacking you and creating more RNG that you have to deal with. So um, you know it's all part of a really really big RNG game. So you just want to try to uh, cover as many bases as possible and you will be able to run um, Dragon's B10 effectively. Now the last thing I wanted to um, last thing I wanted to the last thing I want to say to you guys is uh, you know f for those of you that don't believe me well you can you can uh, when you when you get overtaken by the people that do don't don't blame me. All right, don't blame me. That's that's all I have to say. Anyways, uh, thanks thanks so much for watching, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace out.